So, brackets equal concentration, okay? Just so you know. Anytime you see concentration, like if I show you this, that is equal to the concentration of H+. Plus. What's the concentration mean? It means how concentrated. It, it basically means the molarity. It's concentration in molarity. So, uh, next, let me tell you this. The H plus concentration is equal to the molarity of an acidic solution. And I should, I should probably say a strong acidic solution. So, what that means, this is actually, this part is easy, but you got to see it just so you know once. Let's say I have this. I have a concentration of 6.5 times 10 to the negative fourth molar HCl. And I simply say, what is the H plus concentration, the hydronium ion H plus concentration of this solution? It's the easiest question I've ever asked you. What was that? What is this for this solution? 6.5 times, times 10 to the negative 4. 6.5 times 10 to the negative 4. 6.5 times 10 to the negative 4. Sorry. I, I just wanted to be on this for you. There you go, brother. Now, we got that, okay? Do you understand how to do that? Very simple. Straightforward, okay? Wait, what, what did you just have us do? Nothing. I just, had you, I just had you read. Right yeah, all you did was read. This, this I'm saying this is the concentration of in molarity, and molarity is equal to the concentration of H+. plus. That's the point. Now, it's a it's a hydronium. Wait, so the acidic oh. concentration of uh, hydroxide. Yeah. Now, let me show you the opposite here. Let's say that instead of instead of a strong acid, we have a strong base. Okay, and now. When we deal with base, we don't deal with we don't deal with hydronium. We deal with hydroxide. So we would be dealing with OH negative if it's a base. Now, this is the part you gotta be okay at. You gotta be able to pick out whether it's an acid or a base. In this case, this is a base. So we are looking at the hydroxide concentration right here. Yeah. So we're looking at the hydroxide concentration right there. Now that's just all compounds, um, um, they're all compounds going to have a H in them? Like Most of them will. Yeah, they, they, they generally will. Just pretty, pretty common. So we can do this. If I give you an acid, you can tell me the H+. Plus. If I give you a base, you can tell me the OH. That's the start. Next, pH. Okay, pH is found using the H plus of something. So let's take this solution right here. Okay, we've established that. Our H plus concentration is equal to 6.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, pH. All you do to find the pH of a solution, it is very simple. All you do is this. You literally type in negative log into your calculator. Then you type in the number. That will give you your answer. That's it. That's all you do. So you actually physically type it in, just so we all understand. You hit negative, you hit log. <coughs> Can you see this somewhere? There, you can kind of see. Anyway, you hit negative log, and then you just type in 6.5 times 10. All right. That's it. 3.8. 3.8. Yeah, I mean, like it would just be like you know, here's your hydronium concentration, or here's your, here's this or something, you know, and it would just ask you to, to do that. Yeah. What's the unit measurement? There is none. That's a good question. Now, a couple of things to address. Yeah, if you want a calculator, get one now because you're gonna need one. Um, number one thing to address. There are no units for pH. pH is simply pH. All right? Now, you always round to the second decimal point. Hundreds place. You round there, you stop it right there every time. All right? Never further than that. Okay. Is there any manual way to do it? Yeah, but it's 
I mean, yeah, I guess theoretically, but I'm not showing you how. I, I don't actually know how. Next time I stick on my hand for you, you can have that. Negative, negative log. Yeah. Negative log, yeah. yeah. But you're still using the log here. What he's saying without a calculator, it's not even. It's not even worth it. What? What does log like represent? It's supposed to like. It's a scale. It basically here's what it does. Shh. And it's still recording. You know. I know. Eamon asked a good question. What is the log? Why do we use this log thing? Because what it does is it allows us to take very small numbers like this and change it into very recognizable, easy to read numbers like this. That's really what it does. It creates a scale that works for us. Now, <clears throat> we got this. We good on this? Okay. What I got to show you now is a little bit different. Or you know what? I'll just show you right at the bottom of this. Let's talk about POH now. POH. <clears throat> Let's say that, you know, we have, uh, let's say that we have this as our concentration now for OH. So, random concentration for OH. What we're going to do now is say, what's the POH? So all you do this in this case, negative log, OH minus. And then, whereas we took the negative log of pH, now we take the negative log of, of OH and we get a POH. So this is our formula for that, and then I'll just write it down up here so you can see it. Yeah, I mean, really, same thing. So these are your two formulas right there. They're pretty important, okay? You have to know those. Now, all we do here, you just simply plug to find your POH. You just, you know, negative log of 4.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right, then you do that, you get your POH. Does anybody know what that is? Someone do that, so I don't have to type it in. 4.36. Lazy. <coughs> and that is basic. Now, 4.36, yes. 4.36. It's, it's between 0 and 7 on the, on the POH scale, so it's basic. This one right here. It's between 0 and 7 on the pH scale, so it's acidic. Now, let me, let me show you a trick here. All right, next thing. Let's say that you have a pH of 4.32. Okay, and I say, what is the pOH of it? The pOH. So let's say I give you a solution like this, a question where I say, you got a solution, it's a 4.32 pH, what's the pOH? 4.32? No, let me, there's an easy way to do this. pH and pOH are related in a very simple way. Okay. Are they equal? Do they have inverse No. This is your next big equation. pH plus pOH adds up always, every time, to the number 14, because that's what our pH scale is based off of. So if I, I mean, so this is really simple. If I give you the pH is 14, or is 4.32, your equation is just going to be this. 14 minus 4.32. So yeah, your pOH will be... Uh, 9.68. That's acidic. So it's acidic. Yeah. I knew it. Now. The key here is that you can understand and remember this equation. Okay, it's just one of those things you have to be able to remember to do. It's easy, it's always there, don't forget it. Now, uh, last thing I want, well, two more things I gotta show you. Let's look at this now. Um, what shall we do? Whatever, fine, let's just, let's just take this pH right here. So we got a PO, or pOH of 9.68, and I'm gonna write that there. Our pH is uh, 4.32. POH is equal to 9. Point. Pardon? I just subtracted the. Yeah, to find the POH. No division, just subtraction. Now, what we're going to do, let's say that I want now, I say, I give, you're given this pH, what is the H plus concentration? And over here I say, what is the OH minus concentration? 
So, on the previous paper, I showed you how to go from H plus to pH. Now we've got to go from pH back to H plus. This so is the part where positive log. I'll show you. It's 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 not positive log. It's it's actually pretty simple. What you're gonna do? I'll actually tell you what to type in your calculator. You're gonna hit second. Then you're gonna hit log. Then you're gonna hit negative. Then you're gonna type in your you know your your pH. Okay. What that'll realistically look like in your calculator is this. It'll look. No. So let me let me actually show you on here. You will hit. Can't see. Yeah, I know. It's okay. kind of annoying. La -da -da. Oh, it's not on. That would help, huh? No. This light is very annoying sometimes. There we go. Now, now what you do? You hit second and you hit log, and it shows up looking like that. Okay. Then you hit negative, then you type in 4.32, then you hit enter. And that is your H plus. So what you're doing is taking the anti-log. It's called the anti-log. You do that, it's the opposite operation as from before. It's like you square something and you want to go backwards, what do you do? Take the square root. You multiply something, you want to go backwards, what do you do? Divide. Divide. Yeah. Instead of negative logging it, you second log it. Yeah, you anti-log. Is it 4.8 times something negative fifth? Yeah. Now, I would expect you to write this answer in scientific notation here, okay? I really would. So when you have hydrogen and you're going to, uh, when you have pH, you're going to hydrogen concentration, you do that, sir? Yes. And all the way around, you do the negative log? Yeah. Negative fifth mole, right? Yeah, molarity. Molarity. Yusuf Slim at 12. Stop, Yusuf. Now, let's say really quickly you want to go the opposite way. Same deal, okay? OH negative is equal to... So, same thing. You just simply, to find P, you know, you go from POH to OH, you just plug your stuff in here. All right? Now, do you just do the exact same thing? What does that come out to be? Anybody? Yeah. 2.089. 2.089. We'll round that to 2.1. To the negative what, Andy? Or Yusuf? 10? All right. So, that's that. Again, I expect all this stuff in scientific notation. I better not see a point that's nine zeros and then a one. I'll be mad. You always, you always put negative? Well, well yeah, because you're moving the decimal over to the right. Do you always put negative there? Yeah, it won't be the right answer if you don't. All right. Is the answer always negative or could it be positive? The exponent? Yeah. It'll almost always be negative. Yeah, it'll almost always be negative. Yeah, because aren't you like... Yeah, really small values. I got you. All right, so we can do this. Now, let me show you the last thing I want to talk about, and then, I'm, then we're going to do a couple homework problems together so that you're not totally confused still. 15-minute video. Yeah, KW, okay? This is, this is the last big thing. KW is, is some, it's a constant. It's equal to this. One point zero times ten to the negative fourteenth is what it's equal to. You have to have that point zero. Now, what it equates to is this: water is so, it does something called self-ionization. What that means is that H two O breaks down into H plus plus O H minus. Okay, it just automatically does this. When it exists, it automatically breaks down into H plus and O H minus. It's just what it does. So what we can do is, if we're given the concentration of H+, plus, we can automatically know the concentration of OH-, minus, 
and you know backwards again if we want very easily there's a really simple equation all you got to know is just that kw is equal to the concentrations so what this what this really means is is that if you have a concentration of h plus you just plug it in solve for oh that's it and the same thing goes the opposite way so as a super super fast example let's just say you've got a 3.6 times 10 to the negative fifth molar HCl. Now, is this is this representative of H plus or OH minus? Uh, H plus. H plus. Why do you say that, Yusuf? Because it has it's a base. No, it has the H in it. Has the H in it fr in front of it? What does that make it? What does it make it? Makes it base. Acid. An acid. An acid. Oh, my bad. I, yeah, I, know. I was thinking of the wrong scale. Now, that's right. You sit next to each other now. How cute! Now, um, what we've got now, you've got your H plus. Okay, this is equal to H plus. So what we've got, you just simply plug in 3.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. You've got your OH. You're solving for, and your KW is your constant right here. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So all you do is solve for. Where do they get these constants from? Ah, they just do. I could explain. I'll explain it to you sometime. I'm trying to do the math on this. And you end up with OH being equal to what? 3.6 times 10 to the. Okay, you both you said different numbers. One with 2.7, one with 2.6, fine. Okay, whatever. Times 10 to the what? Negative 10. Right? Okay. Now, what is our concentration unit here? What is this concentration always in? Uh, molarity. Molarity, thank you. Big M. Okay. So, this is your other big equation here that you got to know. Now, they're given to you, for the most part on this little sheet. You get the pH equation, you get the pOH, you get that, and you get that. You get those. Okay, you're told what KW is. We're not going to be using these equilibrium expressions down here, that's for AP. Um, you're, e you're even told that H plus is equal to the, the I mean, the, ugh. I mean, they even tell you that, which I wouldn't, but whatever. Hold up, it says ACT review too. Is that what we need to know on the ACT or something? No, this is the test that you get now. Are, they're called the quality core. They're made by the ACT company. So they just put their logo on everything. All right, so are there any questions on this stuff? Yes. What? I'm confused. I don't know why, but the one, how do you, if there's an H and an O, then how, is that like automatically? If there's an OH, hydroxide, it's a base. Automatically. Because it has oxygen. Yeah. 